The ScrumX device that I'm holding is an ankle bracelet that measures alcohol. It's fitted around an individual's ankle. The technology inside is very similar to the technology in a breathalyzer device. So it actually detects alcohol that passes through the skin as a vapor once somebody has used alcohol. The device actually, um, once fitted, could obviously be removed in an emergency if you wanted to pull it off. Um, otherwise, there needs to be a special key to actually unlock the device. And there are also several tamper evident um, things that we monitor as well as the alcohol component of the, the test. So there's an infrared beam that is actually um, emitted from the device. We can obviously see that somebody's attempted to tamper with the device. So for example, if you were to try and put paper in between the device and your ankle, Every time we take a measurement of alcohol, we also take a measurement of the temperature. That obviously enables us to see whether the device is no longer being worn by anyone. The device itself actually takes a sample every 30 minutes. The information is uploaded remotely to a base station that's usually located within the individual's home. And then that information is then transmitted to a central server called ScramNet. The server is actually located in the US. All of the information coming from each device is recorded there against the unique identifiers. Um, we can then actually look at that information to ascertain whether an individual has used alcohol or not. Um, we interpret that information and then produce a report. So we can see the black line here um, that looks a little bit like Mount Everest um, is the indication of when George actually started to drink um, that rises up to a peak um, and then gradually decreases is the um, alcohol measurements from the device. The red line here is the temperature readings from the device and they're also taken alongside the alcohol readings. And then this blue line is the infrared reading from the device, which is a, a good indication as to whether anybody's tried to tamper with the device. You quickly forget that it's there. Obviously, as soon as it's put on, it feels a little bit new at first, but you quickly forget that you've even got it on um, and it was comfortable. Even the slight vibration feeling you get when it takes the reading, you quickly kind of get used to and you don't always notice it because it's quite slight, it's quite gentle.